Okay, how to reflow a QFN without a hot air gun. The key is to, on the underside of your PCB, put a hole in the solder resist um, under the QFN. Uh, if you forget, you can always scrape it off with a scalpel. First, plenty of flux. You can never have too much flux. The pads. Then apply a nice bead of solder to all the pads just with sort of fairly thin solder of course not lead free solder lead free is just a pain so just get enough to get a nice bead on all the pads don't worry too much about the middle pad um, you don't want too much on there actually because it tends to make it harder to place the chip there's actually a bit too much there so I'll just braid that off That's about right. Now clean all the old used flux off. Give it a good old scrub. You can either blow dry or you can dab it with um, paper towel. And new flux on again. Plenty of flux. And take your chip making sure it's actually the right way around. You can't see it because there's solder paste all over it. Let's pin on that bottom left, okay. So place the chip. Um doesn't have to be super precise at this stage. Just get it as close as you can get it. Then with a nice chunky big bit, preferably on a met cowl. Uh, get a decent amount of solder on it. Uh, and apply it to the bottom of the pad, again with a bit more solder. The solder just giving you plenty of thermal contact. And you'll see it start to melt. And the trick is just give the chip a little gentle tap. Once all the solder's melted, it will tend to find its own position on the pads. There you go. So you can see the solder's give it a little nudge if necessary. Uh, the tapping also tends to remove any voids if some of the solder bumps you put on there weren't quite as high as the other ones. And that's it. Look at the sides. And as long as you made the pads long enough to extend outside the device, you can actually see you've got a decent bead of solder there. And that's it. One other thing, um, after you've finished, um, just braid off all the excess solder on the bottom. Um, one slight mistake on this board was there's a track a little bit too close to the pad so you get a solder short between the um, centre pad and the track if you don't take that off so just braid that off and clean it up that's it